This is Ready Classroom Mathematics, Lesson 15. Students, this page right here, page 311 and 312, these two pages are pages for you to go over with your parents so that way they understand what we were learning about dividing four-digit numbers. If you will go ahead and turn to page 313 in your math book, this is where we are going to be to start our session one. All right, page 313, dividing four-digit numbers. All right, our first problem here is 1,400 divided by four. We are going to do our problems for four-digit numbers just like we did our problems for three-digit numbers. It's just one extra digit. So for four-digit numbers, we are going to draw our area model. We're going to put our 1,400 right here, and we're dividing by four. Can, if I have one M&M &M in my hand, can I take four out? No. If I have 1,400, 14 M&Ms in my hand, can I take four out? Yes. And how many times? Well, if I do four times three, it's 12. But notice how I have two more digits here. So I'm going to add two zeros on the back here. And so that's going to be 1,200. Also, you can do it by hundreds. If you want to do 100, 100, 100, 100, you can. That just takes longer. So I did 1,400 minus 1,200. That leaves 200 left. Now I'm going to draw my line, and I have 200 here. Can, if I have two M&Ms, can I take? If I have two M&Ms, can I take four out? No. If I have 20 M&Ms, can I take four out? Yes. So four times what is 20? And four times five is 20, but we have 200. Four times 50 is 200. And that leaves nothing. So 300 plus 50 equals 350. So that is our answer. Let's go ahead and go to page 314. Okay, on 314, it says, explain how you found the quotient of 1,400 divided by 4. So we broke apart 1,400 and subtracted a little each time using multiplication. Okay, look ahead. You can divide four digit numbers in many ways. Complete the area model to show 3200 divided by five. Well, as we can see here, five times six is 30, and we've got to add our two zeros. So five times 600 is 3000. So 3,200 minus 3,000 leaves 200. So then we do 5 times 4, which is 20, and we add another 0, which is 200. We subtract that from our 200 we have, and there's 0. So 600 plus 40 is 640. Here's another way to do it. We can do it like this, where we do... 5 times 600 is 3,000, which leaves 200 left over. 5 times 40 is 200, which leaves 0 left over. So how many groups of 5 are in 3,000? 600 of them. How many groups of 5 are in 200? 40 of them. And then the remainder is 0. And then right here is where we add these together. So it's 600 plus 40 equals 640. Go ahead and go to page 315. 
Partial quotients is um, a vocabulary term that we've been using. We use it with multiplication, and now we are going to be using it with long division. And it's just helping us understand um, place value a little bit better to be able to help us solve math problems. So what is it? It is a strategy used to divide multi-digit numbers. A strategy used to divide multi-digit numbers. What do I know about it? I know that I can use an area model to help find partial quotients. And some examples. So if we have 1,200 divided by 4, we can do 4 times 250, which is 1,000. And we have 200 left over. And we can do 4 times 50, which is 200 and leaves us zero. And then we can do 250 plus 50 equals 300. Next, 1,000 divided by 4 equals an unknown. Well, I know that 100 times 10 equals 1,000. So 100 divided by 4 would be 25. 25 times 10 equals 250. So that means 1,000 divided by 4 equals 250. You go ahead and make up one more example for partial quotients right here. You can pause this video if you need a second to do that. All right, on number two down here, it shows us that we have eight times 200, eight times 200, eight times two is 16, carry my two zeros over. So 2,200 minus 1,600 equals 600. Then they moved that 600 right there. Eight times 70, well, eight times seven is 56, and then carry my zero, so I'm going to subtract 560, which leaves me 40. I'm going to move my 40 over here. 8 times 5 is 40, so 40 minus 40 is 0. Okay, oh, let me scoot that up a little. Okay, go ahead and turn the page to 316. It's our last problem for today. Okay, our last problem here. 1,500 divided by 6. Let's go ahead and make our area model. Okay, well, 6 times what gets me as close to 1,500 as possible? I know that 6 times 2 is 12, so then if I add two zeros, that would be 1,200. So 6 times 200 is 1,200. I'm going to subtract and have 300 left. Move that 300 up. I cannot do 6 times anything to get 3, but I can do 6 times 5 to get 30, but I need one more place. So 6 times 50 is 300, which leaves 0, and that means my answer is 250. 
You don't need to do anything right here because you showed your work right there. That is it for session one. I will see you back for session two.